everyone <coughs> welcome once again to this channel if you have not subscribed can you do subscribe in today's video we'll talk about uh, configuring a dht 11 temperature humidity sensor with an stm 32 f 103 c8 t6 microcontroller it's a small arm cortex 3 uh, stm 32 microcontroller we'll also be interfacing that with an uh, lcd display <coughs> uh, 16 by 2 lcd display uh, of course with an I square C connector to minimize the number of lines we require for that display. So um, for this project I have uh, I square C LCD files. There is I square C LCD dot H and I square C LCD dot C. So these are the files uh, we require for the display, as you can see. Yeah. Start by including the .h file. Then uh, there's I square C handler here. Um, then there's the slave address for the LCD. So basically this is the LCD .c file. Yeah. I'll also be sharing a link to the GitHub repository for this code so that you can have a look in more detail. Yeah. The I square CLCD.h file is also here. We have this header file for the STM32 F1XX. Then we start by initializing the LCD. We send a command to the LCD. We send some data to the LCD. There's a sending string to the LCD as well. Then this part uh, determines the cursor position. Then there's a function uh, call for clearing the LCD. Yeah. Then um, the other code we have is on the main. Let's see. Uh, so I followed someone on YouTube who had done the same thing, but he had used a different microcontroller. He had used the uh, STM32F4 microcontroller. So I followed along what he was doing, and then I customized in order to suit my STM32F103. So yeah, this is the main.c code main.c file uh, first thing we do is to include uh, these two files the i square clcd.h and also stdio.h this one is for the sprintf then uh, on our code, I used timer 4. Of course, I first uh, did the configuration of the pins using STM32 CubeMX. So I used timer 4 to generate my delay in uh, microseconds. That's why you will see this function here, void delay. This is the function that generates the delay then uh, we have the function here to display the temperature. Then another function to display the relative humidity. Then I've declared some variables. Then here is a function for setting pins as outputs. This function is for setting pins as input. So it, it, it basically makes your work easy if you want to set a pin as input or output. You don't have to write the whole thing. Then um, I've defined the pin and port for my DHT11 sensor. 
um, I've connected the data pin of the DHT11 on, on pin 1 of port A, pin 1 of GPIO A. So that's pin A1. Then here is the function to send the start signal. Of course, this one you get from the um, DHT11 datasheet. So the first thing you need to do, and this is very, very important, is to set the pin as output. So this line here sets the pin as output. Then, um, of course, we're just calling this uh, function. We had defined it earlier, so we just pass the port and the pin. Then from there, you initialize the sensor with uh, setting the data pin high. This is very important. If you don't do this, your sensor will read 0, 0 throughout. So from the data sheet, the first thing you need to do is to initialize uh, with the data pin high. Then you give it some delay. Here I've given it uh, one second, which is basically 1000 milliseconds delay. Then from there, you pull the pin low. This part I've said is uh, you obtain these instructions from the data, data sheet of the DHT level. So you pull the pin low and wait for 18 milliseconds or 18,000 microseconds. Then you pull the pin high and wait for 20 microseconds. Then after that, you will need to set the pin as an input. So now you're ready to receive data from the DHT11 sensor. Um, we have a function here that checks the response of the sensor. So here you first uh, wait for 40 microseconds. Then you check if the pin is low then wait another 80 microseconds, check if the pin is high, and return one. So that shows that the sensor is present, else the response will be negative one. Then uh, there is a while here, you wait for the pin to go low again, and you return the response. So here you have the functions to read data from the DHT11 signal pin. So basically all this. After that, uh, you will need to display on the LCD screen. So uh, the first thing you need to do is to initialize your display with the LCD init command. Then uh, I am sending a string initializing and then I'm waiting for two seconds and then I clear the display. From now here now I am ready to display the temperature and humidity data. So this is basically what we do here. So we have these five bytes of data but the temperature is displayed by this by one temperature by one the relative humidity is displayed by temperature byte. Sorry, relative humidity is displayed by this uh, RH byte 1. Then you store that uh, data, convert to float, store it in temperature and humidity uh, variables. Then after reading, we'll be waiting for 1200 milliseconds. Yeah. So I'm looking for the function that displays these readings on the, on the LCD. OK. 
Okay. So here they are. This function displays the temperature on the LCD. So we're declaring a string character with, with 20 characters. We initialize it with zero. Then uh, we put the cursor position on row zero, column zero. Then we print this string temp up to here because uh, two decimal places this is what this, this, this part does. Then we display the temperature. Then um, uh, we attach also this part for degrees Celsius. Same thing we do for humidity. But this time round, the cursor position is um, row 1, column 0. Then we display this RH, meaning relative humidity, the same two decimal places. And we attach this percent sign because relative humidity is in percentage. Yeah, and after that, you're ready to build your code and upload to your upload to your microcontroller so we have zero errors I have five warnings I'm not so worried about the warnings so I am going to I'm going to flash the code a video after this to just show my connections and uh, how I upload the code and all that kind of thing so yeah we are ready to flash the code so here on load click on it yeah it normally complains about my clone and stealing but not a problem it will still flash we're done so from there if I power my microcontroller displays the relative humidity and uh, and temperature So here we go, we point, and then I hit the reset, initializing, and there we go, we have our temperature and humidity readings. Alright, thank you so much for watching, if you have any questions you can put them in the comments. I am sharing the link to the source code. I'm also sharing a link to the YouTube channel I followed through. The guy uses an STM32F4 microcontroller, but um, customizing it to suit any microcontroller from the STM32 family will be easy if you understand what he does. Uh, the most important thing I'd like to emphasize is on the on the uh, function to start uh, 
the signal, the first thing you do is you set the pin of the DHT11 uh, data as an output, then the first uh, command you send, or rather the first thing you do is to set, to initialize the pin with the high. So you set the pin high and you wait for uh, maybe one one second and then from there you can pull the pin low, wait uh, for this uh, microseconds or 18 milliseconds and this information is from the STM, I mean from the DHT11 datasheet. Thank you very much. If you've not sub subscribed, kindly do subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's continue sharing. So here we go, we pour it. And then I hit the reset. Initializing. And there we go, we have our temperature and humidity.